Well, I'm on mute, so that's a great way to start. Um, We're on a roll. Yes. Um, welcome back, to everyone, to another episode of The Drawing Board. Tonight, we will be making soda pens. And basically, uh, some of you have, have clearly told me that uh, I'm basically making uh, art shivs and uh, prison pens. And Seems accurate. Yes. So... Uh, there's a couple of different ways that, that you can fix them. You can have them on like tongue depressors or popsicle sticks. Uh, I'm going to be going through this paintbrush method. And um, if you have like an old ink pen nib, <clears throat> excuse me, holder, you can f do it with some thicker grade aluminum or, or brass or something like that. Um, Oh, fancy. I'm going to show you that here at the end. But if if uh, if you can get like a sheet of brass or some cheap sheet metal at Lowe's or, or some hardware store, that will work as well. They're a little harder to make. They're a little, they'll stand up to the use a little bit better. But, um, but yeah, a little bit harder to, to, to make. So, yeah. Um, so soda pens, of, if you're not aware what a soda pen is, it basically is a, a well, I just showed you. <laughs> um, I've got some free yeah, instructions. Yeah, made from a soda can. <laughs> right. Um, and so the... Uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to post a link for everybody if you want to download them. Doc has handy dandy instructions yes. on his website. Um, and you laid them out very nicely. It looks very professional and wonderful. Well, you know, you, you got to try. Um, there's a yeah. couple of nibs here on the back. Um, different designs and stuff like that. I think there's eight uh, to try around, play with. They're just ideas um, of some things, of shapes, of ruling pens that I've found in the past. Um, and basically, mm. soda pens are a uh, DIY poor man's ruling pen. <laughs> and uh, you can get expressive lines um with with uh with your mark making so it looks like this just real like yes. you can do some thick and thins and gritties uh, and just have a lot of fun with i call them sawtooth but it looks like this oh we're gonna blow it all out oh yeah you had the, i was noticing that on that like big line you drew underneath on that like yes. um promo you made i i absolutely i, I love it and it, it's a uh i don't know just the gritty splatters it doesn't get any better than that so um mm -hmm. we'll we'll make one and then hopefully have some time to do some testing and playing around so yeah um, i have all my tools as well so i'm going to try and do this along with you and keep up in chat so Yes. May yes. the force be with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I was say, <laughs> if anybody gets a pass tonight, it's you multitasking and doing everything. Um, so, yeah. I was, like, scared because you guys kept mentioning Band-Aids, so I brought an oven mitt to cut with. <laughs> that is an amazing idea. And I had meant to grab one, and I failed. Um, but, yes, yeah, so... Real Not quick. too late because I I will probably faint if you cut yourself even though I'm just watching on the other end. <laughs> I'll I'll pretend to faint, pass out, and we'll see what happens. Um, but basically, uh, that sheet goes over what all you'll need. Gardening gloves would count, Jedi. Whatever you got, thick gloves. Yeah, just just something that if you stab yourself with Exacto knife. Um, Honestly, if I'm you're using clumsy. scissors to cut your tin can, you're going to get a bunch of little shards that will ruin your day if you uh, are not careful. Yeah. So that's... This is, we're going to have like a big disclaimer right now where it's like, please be careful with the aluminum cans. It is very easy <laughs> to cut yourself with them. A hundred percent. I had a traumatic art class in this one summer where uh, the teacher just gave us all scissors and a bunch of hands it was like make animals with this and everyone got <laughs> injured <laughs> oh jeez. um yes it uh it can get a little unruly if you're not careful so yeah i'm just just saying be very careful everybody who's participating or, or just just yeah you know don't Go cut slow your... take your time so like no no rush right so um like i was saying before 
uh, we've got just a grab bag of the crappiest paintbrushes ever. Uh, and basically, I brought a chopstick and a dowel rod. Chopsticks and dowel rods are amazing. They will yeah. do wonderful stuff. Wonderful. I had it around the house, so I figured, like, because you said you basically just need the kind of like the stick part. Yes. So basically, if you have a paintbrush that has the like the the brush, come on, the brush in it. No, uh, yes. Cut it off. <laughs> And uh, what I would do, I would do this first. And if you have a like a non-water soluble, like I don't think Elmer's glue would necessarily be good, but if you've got like a super glue or a gorilla glue, go ahead and like just dab a little bit on on the tip of your your paintbrushes and uh, let it dry while we cut out the pen nibs. And that way, hot glue might work as well. Yes, hot glue would be a great alternative if if that's what you've got. Um, but basically what we're going to try to do is seal the, the tips of these pens up so that they don't like if you didn't cut off the nibs, the paintbrush would just hold all of the uh, the ink or a lot of it. And so you just constantly be oh. ref refilling your pen a little bit more often um, if you've got. You don't oh. want to like it those those like remaining brush hairs to, like soak up the rest of your right. Ink, basically. And then, you know, you just it just sort of collects down here in the barrel of the of the paint brush so that's why i i will go they ahead probably and... don't last very long that way either uh, i mean i've had uh this guy shoot i've had i think i made these in college i've replaced the nibs on them because i've gone oh, through yeah. them since that but I, that's why i like the paintbrush is it they, it's yeah, supposed to fit in your hand it's, it's it's made to do that whereas you know tongue to print tongue depressors aren't quite ergonomic uh as... oh yeah yeah i love that though i love uh, that you have like um like a whole what is that like arsenal of them made of yeah. different things yeah <laughs> um you never know who's gonna sneak up on you on their art playground um so <laughs> so go ahead get if you have a paintbrush go ahead and snip your tips um and uh, we'll get we'll get going with these. If you are gonna use, Will is asking if you can use the back side of a paintbrush. Do you, Will, do you mean like yes, if you flipped like it this? over so you're not using the brush side? I assume that's what you mean. I think that would work, right? Yes, that'll work. That'll work. Ooh, then you can have like a double-ended art tool, and you can have a paintbrush pen combo. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you can. I will. Uh, no one can using stop them you. using them both at the same time <laughs> might be tricky, but yes, you could definitely do that. Um, oh, what was I gonna, oh, okay. Um, if you do, if you are using the chopsticks or the dowel rod, mm -hmm. maybe run it over with a like a wax crayon or something like that, just to sort of seal it up so that the Oh, um, ink doesn't sort of soak up into the the wooden dowel. Um, not a huge deal if you don't. It's not gonna matter. I'm just gonna let it terribly. go because I have yes. to run into the other room to get the glue because I moved everything <laughs> to work on stuff this and week. So he, here's the thing: uh, you'll yeah. you'll find just a couple. Stay on camera. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, if it was in the room, I would consider it, but it's like across the house. <laughs> <laughs> a poor art student is my soul forever that yes yeah will. um yeah it's well you're still teaching all the poor art students so like you really immerse yeah. yourself in the lifestyle yes well you doesn't say you you've upgraded like or leveled up <laughs> one yes, one yes, tier yes. um so let's see um, or, or like will what's the word in like dungeons and designers where you like get an extra class or whatever like you get like a big level up i forget what that what the word is <laughs> It'll come um, through. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll pop in. Um, and I think the last thing that you'll need is some sandpaper. I've got a 230 grit and a 400 grit. Um, 400, the higher the number, the the finer uh, sandpaper it's going to be. And basically, all you want to do is you're going to be using that to take the like the, the burrs off of your, your aluminum and uh, basically make it so that you don't cut yourself and cut the paper. And that's that's pretty much all that that's for. Um, well, so like let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so we've got a template here. And again, you can go down that, download that. It's a, it's a freebie, so. Oh, look at that. 
so smooth that transition. <laughs> <laughs> um, so oh, I'm gonna put the link again in case anybody wants to um, download the instructions or have them on their own for any reason. So I've, I'm gonna do pull one of those. Patrick, like... what have you done? Or no, you you're <laughs> medical one podcast today. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. We'll start cutting. Um, I would suggest using your, you know, the exacto knife to start the hole if you want to then jump in with your, your, your scissors. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and do that. And I may at some point let's sort of jump through with the pre baked stuff. Um, but I'll try to try to do it real time as much as possible. If anybody has questions that we get into, that's probably where the pre-baked soda shiv will emerge. So I'm just gonna initially just start working my way around the edge. And what I would do as well is once you get one, get one end started, go ahead and start the other end because once you get the top cut off the other end, it's gonna be extremely difficult to not crush the other end to start that hole. So. Um, oh, go, that's a good point. go ahead and start it on both sides and then you can just pick whichever, whichever end you want to go with. So, and then, it's so hard to get started. It is a little hard. Um, if you want to start just a little bit below this, uh, edge here on the, uh, the soda can that you're using, yeah. it's a little softer there, there at the bends. It's, it's a bit tough. So if you are having a hard time getting it in then by all means uh just scooch it down just a hair <laughs> carefully cutting out my soda can kate i i hear you uh with this making you nervous um it's okay yeah i feel so nervous i wish i pre-cut this i didn't have to do it on camera <laughs> well, I I did that, and then I realized I'm like, eh, I probably should do anyway. this along with everybody. So it's hard. It's it the is. hardest part, probably. It's the most nerve wracking because you're like, I'm holding serrated aluminum edges, as well as um, an exacto knife that I could potentially stab myself with if I'm not careful. So then you just sort of find the other end on the other side. How's everybody doing with uh, their cutting their Cutting the can. Going slow. Are you using exacto knife or scissors? Um, exacto uh, knife. It's, okay. it's for now. <laughs> yes. And go ahead and find yourself a good, like used nib if you have stuff or like like an exacto knife that you use for. I don't know stupid oh, stuff cutting other metal things. <laughs> um. I buy exacto knife blades by the like hundred now. Okay. So. Right, yeah. If you're running short on so them, so I don't have to do with this stuff. Yeah. This oh will gosh, definitely really kill struggling. kill the edge on. Are you struggling because you you flip the other end and it's it's flimsy on you? No, I'm like halfway through both, and they're kind of just like the can is just like not sturdy enough to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there we go. We've got top and the bottom. But yes, that's why you start the uh, the um, the holes on both ends before you get through cutting the top off. So, <laughs> will will I love through. it? Now I've got a cylinder of pure death on my table. All right, sweet. So from here, what you're gonna do? This might be easier to use the scissors for, or if you want, you can run a little ruler through. Let's see, like that. And then try oh, to God. do a straight line. I wouldn't worry about that because you've got a, a, a line here in the design of the can. Just find a straight line on the can and use that. And uh, just make sure your your scissors are long enough to get through it in as few cuts as possible because that's how you get those um, nasty Death parts that, that shear off. So, So there we go. Yes. Yeah. Now, now you have a an unwieldy uh, sheet of rolled death on your table, Will. 
Um, at this point, I need so much worse, and thank God I got the oven mitt. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. If you, if you have success, sweet. Did anybody? Did anybody try to use the scissors? You can sort of see the difference. I used them for part of it because it was scary. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you're trying to go around the 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 edge here, it gets it gets a little uh, a little dicey. But um, if your hand's like cramping and you're having a hard time, aluminum splinters for my yes. table. So that's the other thing you got to worry about. If you do use scissors, you're going to end up with a little bit more uh, sh like shards and and whatnot. But if you've got a bone, I'm going to grab uh, a, a paper towel because there's a little bit more water in my hand. Okay. Um, if you've got a bone uh, envelope or a bone bone folder or anything like that. Um, what I would do at this point is just sort of take it and run your run it over the edges just to try to get rid of as much of those uh, pure death edges. I'm totally using that from now on. Every time I make one of these, I'm just going to talk about the pure death edges. Thank you, Will. It is terrifying, I have to admit. Especially because I like just cut myself really badly on a... Um, regular like food can oh yeah so i'm just really skittish okay <laughs> the knife is all the way over there just just scissors. i'm definitely like making a face because i'm terrified <laughs> so <laughs> more cool once you once you've got that if if you're really ocd and you want you can go ahead and square up the edges I wouldn't worry about it because we're just going to be working with these little um, sections here, the one and a quarter by two and a half. And again, these are just suggested sizes. <laughs> Kate says she almost cut her finger off opening dog food. <laughs> Glad I mean, you yeah, like I literally cut off the tip of my finger on an on a can like a month ago. Still. Right. So once once you've got That's that. Cute. You can try to flatten it out. It's it's not going to do all that great. If you want to roll it the other direction, it'll help a little bit. Just take some of that out. So you can do this. Just to sort of get it somewhat back to unwieldy spring of death that really didn't work but i didn't put a whole lot of pressure in it so no, i'm scared all <laughs> all good um how's everybody else doing everybody else got their sheet of aluminum uh no let's not tell gross bloody finger stories <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can definitely tag me in those. I, I have really bad ones. <laughs> um, all right, so there's a couple of ways that you can do this. If you if you want to print this uh, the instructions out uh, multiple times for for these tips and just you know cut these out, you can cut them out and then tape them down to your um, your aluminum, or you can um, basically set it up and oh. just sort of draw on it if you want just to get the shapes and I would use like a, a ballpoint pen um, I'm using Shauna's Hugnex pen from Creative South it's wonderful um, oh, I think I have a draplin pen over here <laughs> um, I can use <laughs> if you want to tape it down you can right now I'm just holding it up to the light so I can get it as close to the edge as possible because much like will so you you're using that shape that you from your thing but can you just draw it on there you said you can um you can either cut it out cut this out and use this as a template and then just print out another sheet whenever you get to it or uh what i'm gonna do is basically i'm gonna tape it tape it down so it doesn't move too much and then use that and basically use this ruler to draw out the the box 
shape and container. The square? Yeah. I mean, okay. I might print it out. Um, let's see. I want to get the size right. I mean, you can measure it out as well if you want. It That takes a little bit more time, but... Um, I was like, you already made these instructions for this purpose, so yes. I'm just going to do this. So, and what I would do here is basically, you can you can see here it's transferring sort of the, the rough shape. And I, I'm going to go ahead and notch here in the, in the middle and then here at the edge where those pieces of the template are going to need to be. This way you can use it, reuse this template without um, printing out a new one. So, so from here, at this point, you would just, this would be tricky. Well, I can put it where you can see it, but I can also see it. Um, Just go lightly. It's going to catch because it's metal on metal. Um, so do be careful with, with this. Your, your blade will jump and slip if you're not careful. I usually make a couple of passes through it so that I don't like try to force it through on the first go. It's just easier to make a couple of little passes. Keep all your fingers on your hands and the blood in your body. Yeah. Somebody please clip the blood in your body. Keep the blood in your body. Um, so there we go. I'm going to run that back. Didn't quite cut through. Um, and so back going back, I know we didn't really talk too much about the, the you are ruling. Making me nervous. <laughs> the uh, the ruling pen basically if you don't want to make make this um uh, and the thought... uh mackenzie you can use like any kind of um cutting board yes it, it, or if you don't like your table and you you like the character of a cut cut up go to town with it um so at this point um you would just sort of fold it I have gone back and forth with trying to like score it with, with a ballpoint pen, um, thinking that that would give me a good fold. Most of the time when I do that or score it with the, the dull side of an X-Acto knife just to give me some an edge, what ends up happening is when I fold it, I it, it, it's, it breaks. It just um, it needs as much strength here on this fold as, as we can let it have just so that it'll maintain and uh, not not snap out of the wear and tear. So um, that's why I went ahead and put in the the notches there at the top and the bottom, just to sort of uh, so I could see it. Of course, on the the other end, when I flip it over, I don't see those as much. So I'm just gonna notch that there and notch it there. Um, you can use a, f a flat edge or a straight edge. At this point, to help you line it up, and then just sort of. Do you ever try folding it before you cut it? Um, I do. Well, I do. Um, and then like un like fold it flat, and then. Yeah, I, I, I most that of the time is, like I like doing that. Which folding for an aluminum can. Yes, and as I say, I know here it's it's basically like cut these out and then fold it and score it. But I found that I was able to get a cleaner fold if I did it at this stage and then come back and use use this to notch notch everything. So that's why I did it that way. Um, okay. I guess that means I need to do a 2.0 version of this document. But... Um, oh, I was just curious. The, um, the ruling pen, if you want to look it up, they're 
freaking amazing and calligraphers do incredible things with them. Um, I love the expressive mark making the, the sawtooth edges and like the splatter that you'll get. It's just one of my favorite things. So that's that's sort of where that all or that the love of that had, had come from. So when I found this and realized it would allow me to do some of the same things, I was like, yeah, we're going to do this. So um, at this point, you can go ahead. I like I like folding it and cutting it with the scissors just because I don't have to cut it twice. I can cut it once um, and then just sort of refine the edge. But yeah, if you've got if you've got gloves, it might not be bad to use it to fold this, but you can do it without it. You just have to be careful. Um, cheat to catch up. One thing uh, to think about, the can basically is, is wants to fold in this way. If you try doing, doing it like this, so you've got just the pure aluminum on the outside, um, the, uh, the edges here will tend to splay out as opposed to like coming together to keep the ink in. And that's how you're going to get the edge when you drag it across the paper. Um, just a heads up, like I've made a couple that I didn't think that through and I was like, why isn't this working? And then you realize, okay, um, I didn't give it enough. Uh, there's not enough tension there to, to hold the ink in. So, um, but don't fold it uh, overly flat because what we're going to end up with is um, when we put it on our, our paintbrushes, it'll um, has a potential to like need to be opened up. And again, like the more you, it's like in, you, when you do that with metal, you just sort of it weakens that that joint and that fold. So um, I've got that got my measurements so now where my scissors go oh here they are um try to keep all the dangerous things in is it easier to see see this as i cut it with the instructions behind it or on this uh gray mat you tell me um it's the gray mat is a little bit easier i think okay these are a bit bigger than I realized, so the template definitely helps. And the cool thing, like, if you find one that, that works um, or that you like, and that's sort of where I gave these examples. Some of these are taken from some ruling pens um, and just tried my best to get it to work. I think pens like these two are going to be, a, uh, actually these three that sort of end with an open, I think they're going to be a little bit more difficult to use. Uh, from my experience because of like there's nothing holding this here now if you want to like close it with some some duct tape which is what I've done in the past um, that's a, a way to do it but the nice thing about the ruling pens if you want to pay anywhere from 40 to 70 bucks for them is that they will they're just solid sheets of metal that are held together with a screw so there's less um, chance for them to display uh, out while you're using them unless you set it to be loose so I make that initial cut how far up are we going a little bit further um, okay I just like to folded it too hard. Oh, did you? Did it snap? I'm going to try. Um, no, but I can't get it to like open up at all. Um, if you have, well, you said, did you say you didn't have your exacto knife? You can just sort of stick it in the edge. No, I do. Uh, try sticking it here yeah, at, at the trying. base of the fold and see if that'll, that'll work it out a little bit. I have to do that quite regularly. Um, so a couple of things that to keep in mind with these the paint brushes here the the thinner the 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 barrel is going to sort of nest inside of your your soda tip a little bit better um, the bigger the brush gets the, the 
harder it's going to be to sort of hide it and the more the the bulk of the barrel gets into the nib you're going to have a little bit harder time keeping this top part shut um, so just keep that in mind now if you want to make like a really big one i would suggest um getting your your sheet aluminum or like we put this came in a thrive box and i i cut the tip off or the top and that's what i made this guy out of it's it's a little bit more substantial um and so it stays in the uh the nib here or the nib holder a lot better but i think it'll work nicely for uh everything that we're working with if you want it to to be a little bit bigger use the the thicker gauge aluminum or brass or whatever you've got access to um but uh yeah so i'm gonna jump in i'm gonna use they this. sell like um small like at some hardware stores you can have them like cut really small yes. sheets like basically like to size like at a fabric store of mm -hmm. aluminum and stuff um you just have to ask it's kind of like getting woodcut or whatever right um one one other thing that you'll need to do here you can try oh, it with and without um is put like a, just a little cut here on this fold and that basically is going to act as like a, a relief. See here on the, this uh, this diagram. Basically, that is going to allow you to fold your this part of the the soda pin nib around the bottom the, part. Yeah. Nice. So you just just a little bit. So you can basically tuck the this guy in as tight to the body as possible. Um, nice. And then when we come back there's a little bit more flex and you can push this in a little bit further um, around the barrel to get your your seal or it, when you go to tape it up not a big one just just a little guy but um so you want to work it work the uh, the paintbrush barrel not all the way to the tip but just enough so that it's it's there to support the barrel. Um, How far in do you stick it? Sorry, uh, like all the way through that extended part or past not, that? You you want to put it about about here? Um, oh, sorry, Will. <laughs> yeah, it, you got to be a little careful with how much you you fold it. it I blew through several of them. I the I made three this week and two of them snapped. Um, I do wonder if they have pulled back on how much aluminum. Like I've noticed that the water bottle, certain water bottles have gotten quite a bit thinner um, with the plastic they're using just to try to keep stuff out of the landfills and stuff like that. Uh, I'm wondering if aluminum cans have seen any of that as well. Um, it would not surprise me but um so what i'm doing here is i'm going to um, a piece of duct tape what i'm going to do with this you if you've got gaff tape duct tape um painter's tape that'll work the more waterproof the the tape obviously the better it's going to hold up when you're using it with ink and, and washing washing it out so just be mindful of that um, and let's see when you uh, when you go to wrap it you want to have it at a slight angle sort of like you're wrapping a, ba a baseball bat or like a tennis racket just so you get that spiral action to hold it down and again, be careful. This is where the where the where the nibs will get you if you're not careful. So that way. This is terrifying. Only slightly. I'm just paranoid because I I hurt myself recently. So there we go. Got it wrapped. If you if you want to do it again grab 
your tape, make another little snip, and then you can go back the other way if you want to double down on it. <laughs> the American side of me is pissed. The eco-minded side of me is kind of stoked. Yeah. Um, I feel you will. This, when you, when you go back the second time, it'll be a little bit easier because you've, you've got it sort of tight you can yeah, in place be a little bit care uh, a little bit more aggressive in getting a good um okay tightened up do be careful if yeah. you're working with a, a <laughs> there you go a thinner uh paintbrush that you don't <laughs> snap your your brush so when you've got to this point you got it all folded up <laughs> we're now at step seven of nine well, of ten, if and tens, tens where oh, I've been watching a lot of Star Trek, so that was great. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and so at this point, if you want to deviate from this this initial shape, um, it's basic, you know, your basic basic nib blade shiv shape that you want. Um, you can feel free to deviate at this point and use something like this, or just go crazy what you want to keep in mind is the the flatter this edge here um, is going to allow broader strokes to be made across your paper so if you have something that is like this this edge here will never give you the same contact as, as something that is like this where there's a little bit more of a uh, edge and surface for the for the pen and paper to to come in contact with one another so so it should be pretty flat you have a night nice, have want to have a nice curve to it for sure um so we'll do this and at this point we've got it you really could hurt somebody very badly one of these 100 um <laughs> Mine's a little crooked, but we'll work with it. My first one. What do you have a lot of left? Well, I'm yeah, I'm stoked on it. I have a lot, a lot of, of can left, he said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> so at this point, this is where I pull out the, the scissors to make this. Um, you can do either either or if you want to use the exacto knife. I just find it easier to do this with the um the scissors and if you want if you have one of the nice things about it is if you've got one that you absolutely love how it works and this just comes with <clears throat> making several of these over the the course of time you go okay this is sort of the angle that i like and then this at this point what you need is like a sharpie uh, something not a ball pen that will leave some some ink on the edge there just to give you a, like a starting point of where you're wanting to go with it so I'm gonna start here at the the base of that also if you've shoved your your paintbrush or your dowel all the way through it's going to be very difficult to cut the the tip off because you'll be cutting your paintbrush or your dowel or your chopstick as quickly as you can oh. keep a nice uh like workspace throw those shards of aluminum away um so you yeah. can see here there's there's a little bit of an opening and that is where the the ink is going to sort of come out if you want now that you've got it like this just try to to work that um that paintbrush or the dowel as far up into that crease as you can just so it gives it a greater chance of closing here and that that pretty much is it so that where did you want it to close you mean um here on the uh like right in here if um you can sort of see the difference here in these two i think can you see them here let me let me switch back to Sorry. Screen. No, you're good. You're good. That's a good question. So 
So let me see. Two of them independently crap. Mine is huge by comparison. <laughs> so okay. that the, mine looks more or less like yours, so I'm just gonna give it a try. Yeah. And it's just um sorry, it's difficult to roll two objects in your hand and, and thumb uh different directions <laughs> um so it's it's not okay. it's not going to be a, a make or break deal with uh having this this larger space here in this this nib than than this one um you just will probably use a little bit more ink when you go to to make your marks yeah this one will probably use a lot but that's fine Another thing, if you want, just try it, see how it goes. Right, um, and if you want to have a, a tighter seal down here, you can. Mm, I don't need that much. You can get a smaller piece of tape and just a super, super thin, and come at it this way, just to to pull that that edge close and then there you go you can just seal it up like that um, I've done this with uh, electrical tape as well that seems to hold up pretty good being basically plastic um, that was what I used okay so there's there's our Couldn't pen find duct tape <laughs> they're not that big will um well it is true that like most people's like bodies are larger than mine because i'm such a small person <laughs> well and <laughs> mine and is like very big <laughs> this is uh i went ahead and, uh, and i'm fine with that adjusted the nibs here this was one that uh, I had I kind of just previous. see what happens with the giant one because I can always cut it smaller, but I can't keep it big. A hundred percent is where I started. Uh, I, here's another like shape that I made based on. Because I, I literally like copy, like cut the pattern that you gave on the. Okay, cool. Just cut it out. And that was this big monster. Right on. All right. Um. So that's it for that portion. So at this point, we can get to mark making. You want to dive into that? Does anybody have any questions uh, at this point? At this point, if you have paper towels or anything like that, go ahead and get a couple ready. <laughs> it's messy time. Time to get dirty. I've been using that can to hold all of all of my nibs, and now I just cut it up so I don't have any place to put all my pen or brushes. Now this is a very active drawing board. I've had to get up quite a lot, but I love it. <laughs> um, if you like this type of stuff, let, oh. us, let us know. We'll we'll see if we can do a couple more of these type type things. I've got a couple yeah, of ideas cool. for doing Xerox transfers uh, of oh, like analog. Yeah. Uh, way of transferring drawings from either iPads, drawings, uh, photocopy enlargements onto like Bristol board or any other, you know, drawing surface that you'd be using. And at that point, it's sort of a semi-permanent underdrawing that you can gesso over. Mm -hmm. um, not completely if you want to see it, water it down so you get a disappears a little bit, but it serves as a nice underlying drawing. Um, mm -hmm. So Will says he's uh, down a rabbit hole about Xerox transfer, so maybe that would be okay. a good one. All right. And all kinds of dumb crafting things, like <laughs> <laughs> how to make your own uh, paper mache and stuff. <laughs> so one thing that you will notice um, very quickly with these, much like your sketchbooks that have different types of paper, um, more grunge stuff. Yes. Uh, I'll see if I can go through some of my old sketchbooks and, and projects to see what all processes I can bring and, and do here for the drawing board. Um, but the, if you've got a coated paper, 
basically it's got sort of a, a gloss to it. Um, that yeah. will let the ink sit on top of your paper a little bit easier. If you're using sort of like sketchbook, like watercolor type of paper, that's going to like basically soak up the ink. Um, so sometimes just depending on, and this you're just gonna have to play with it for a little bit uh, to figure out what you like, how it works for you. Um, but yeah, I, I go back and forth depending on what I want. If I want it to dry real quickly, I'll use um, an uncoated sheet. And uh, sometimes you don't get the crisp edges if you're gonna scan it later. The, uh, the splatters and things of that nature hold up a lot better on your uncoat or your your coated sheets of paper just for um, scanning purposes if you want to ever you know digitize this which I've done several times for a couple of client projects it's been super cool to use this um, with clients or on client work so what we're gonna do I'm gonna start yeah. here um, with this uncoated sheet well I'll show you what that looks like and then we're gonna switch over to an uncoated sheet just to give you like a comparison so if you've got Indian ink will be great um, if you don't have ink or you got some acrylic paper or acrylic paint water it down um, and that should be fine so from that and if you are wearing nice clothes stop and go grab a ratty t-shirt because these jokers throw ink um, your fingernails are gonna get covered in <laughs> in ink and your shirts may as well um, so let's see oh one other thing that if you want to do I tend to not do this but if you want to sort of have an idea of what you're doing you can sketch it out be careful of using like any type of pencil or whatnot that's got more of a waxy um, like color pencils are a little harder to do this with because they do have a little bit more wax in the lead whereas graphite is a little bit more um, plays nicer with the ink so if you wanted to, to write something out I would suggest using a graphite pencil or something like that to get an idea of where all your letters are going to go. Um, these this are fun. are another type of pen. These are the Pilot Parallel pens. They are a sort of a manufactured. You can see they've got the edge there. These are just varying widths of of this nib, but basically, if this has got ink in it, there we go. So it's, it's got the same sort of principle that you can do thick and thin lines with with those. There's a lot more control if you like that, but there's just enough that will willy-nilly happen that it's pretty awesome to use those in a pinch. They're a lot cleaner than um, the soda pens. So anybody have any suggestions for what to write? Um um pure death i might write pure death yeah <laughs> from what will said earlier um i'm drawing a duck <laughs> you're drawing a duck that as i say most of the time i've used i started this... making a bunch of marks and it just looked like a duck so now i'm, oh, I'm, right now I'm making it more of a duck. um most of the time um i will use this for lettering um i will use the parallel pens a little bit more for for drawing just because it's a little bit cleaner um, but that said so pure death and you can if you layer the angle of the uh, the pen down you can get a little bit more ink the, the tighter that you come up your lines will be a little bit oh. thinner you go horizontal yeah, it's interesting kind of like playing with it it's been a long time I used to use like um you know, like quill ink type, yes. you know, like those type. Um, you see those like all the time and like, it's just been forever. 
I'm going to shift this over and make that an R. Um, I haven't totally gotten this one. Every time, but. I'm too afraid. I think I need to. Oh, and sometimes you're going to have to figure out, like the pen will tell you, if you're used to writing a certain way, the pen will fight you if you're trying to go like down, that's, as you're pulling it, that's where your pen or your, the blade's going to skip um, a little bit. So do some playing around with it. Yeah, I get the like, the right angle, it's kind yeah. of funny. This is fun though. <laughs> it's so like weird and unpredictable. Yes, which is one of the, the things that I absolutely love about it. And I am making a mess. I would love to see what everybody's yeah pen, send us some stuff, like. pictures and yeah and slack and stuff drop them in there yeah if you post it on social be sure to tag m of one and and uh, let us let yeah, us see, see what, what what you've made so uh, oh my gosh this is <laughs> oh shit. that sounded like a good one <laughs> Good splatter everywhere. I don't like my handwriting, so this is definitely hard. <laughs> this is really cool when you get those like doll ones, like here. Yeah, so like that, that that's sort of the ins and outs of it. Um, and you just go nuts. <laughs> well, uh, it honestly, it's I've done this for a couple of years, so I've got a little bit of practice. So that's all it takes. Um, yeah, you said you've had some of these pens since college, and and I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot and make you say how long that's been. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I was going to say the apparently I don't look as old years. as I am. Um, I've been out of college for you, almost you two you decades. You have several children. So. Yes, there are there are four little ones running around. Well, I say that. I've got almost uh, a teenager. <laughs> so Less little. <laughs> yeah, definitely less little. <laughs> Just born. <laughs> what happened? Let me see it. I had, I had an accident. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> so... It's kind of that was this was the uncoated paper. I'm gonna do a real uh, another one here on the uncoated paper and let you see the difference. The probably I was trying to do like a pure death, and then the entire side of the pen became one thing. Wait, hold it back up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My duck is good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yes, uh, uncoated versus coated paper. So. Um, let's see if I can do this real quick. I also realized later that this is sepia ink, but it's cool. And again, like you'll figure out what does and doesn't work with how the pen handles. You just have to play with it, figure out uh, my my sweeping left to starting at the top and coming down strokes have a very hard time um, making clean lines. Um, also going up is a little tricky for me and any curves, any cur <laughs> curves are where you get ink all over your nice clothes. Uh, also, you'll notice that on um, uncoated paper, there's a better chance of like those sawtooth ha uh, 
happening yeah. on your strokes. That's just the edge of the pen catching. You know what I just realized we didn't do is we didn't sand these. Um, oh. You're not... so fun. I just got excited. <laughs> right? Um, cheeseburger. Is there an inside joke happening right now? Speaking of inside jokes, uh, if you want to head over to M of One uh, Slack, um, there is a laugh to you pass out uh, video up there. And it is one of the, <laughs> the best things I, I have ever seen. And I it love incredible. watching it. Incredible. So, um, yeah. Jump into uh, to Slack. We're, we're transitioning over to, to Discord here in a little bit. But in the meantime, it was just posted today. So go Thank enjoy. Um, cheeseburger. How do you spell cheeseburger? That's the hard thing. Cheese and then burger. <laughs> I'm going to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was the minute I said it, I was like, oh, Sorry, I'm, I'm going to get I it. Like that was a very Andrew response. <laughs> <laughs> I 100% was thinking, like, you've been hanging out with Andrew way too long. <laughs> Andrew, you're a bad influence. 100% a bad influence. Um, a lot of times, okay. I don't know if anybody else is this way, but um, uh, what's up, Judge Kitty? Thanks for, for jumping in here. Um, thanks time, or first time joining. Thank you. Um, I am a hard time spelling, and so I will uh, get into writing the letters and skip letters if I'm not careful. So, I, yeah, I can really. <laughs> so, sometimes it's just nice to have it there on the paper so that you can see it and then go to town. Do you want this uh, death metal cheeseburger, Andrew, or do you want sort of a uh, less where the letters are a little bit more intertwined with one another and more legible? I love when true. I am. I am doing what time. what. It's just because I like you, Andrew. Uh, I am doing what you're asking, so you might be winning. Okay, dealer's choice. I'm gonna. Probably just go with my handwriting because it's a little easier. Is anybody posting new stuff in uh, in Slack for us to see? see if you're drawing or anything? I want to see. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to like get exactly what you want. <laughs> but I am really enjoying this. This is fun. That S got away from me. Dang. I'm seeing them like the your actual drawing on a bit of a delay. <laughs> oh, I think I just stuck my whole arm in my. Oh, that's why you write it out. <laughs> I just I just turned that G into a or a U into a G. <laughs> hey, you made it work. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. The one thing you will uh, be mindful of is the duct tape or whatever your the adhesive. It will get a little sticky on your fingers. So if you if you're a tactile person, you might want to run it down with like a wax crayon or something like that just to kill it. Honestly, running it like if you've got some dust out in the yard or something like that, pick it up, roll it around, get it to adhere to those edges, and it'll become less tacky over time. Uh, let's see. Check my text. Am I going to check my text right now? <laughs> We're talking. Uh, all right. Well, you've got, or Zach, you've got me curious. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. This one's for you, Zach. Good suggestion. Uh, I mean, there's money coming in in my cash app to write things. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll make it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I spell it wrong? Started a... 
Oh, this is actually drying really cool. It's like layers. Anybody have any guesses of what the rest of this word is going to be? Um... I mean, cheeseburger bun <laughs> is what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, or you, you eat the cheeseburger um, and it You got funny. Comes... You got, um, yeah. I'm thinking like bungholio or something, but I, <laughs> and TP, I don't know why I have like. TP for my bunghole. <laughs> I haven't thought about that in years. Thanks, Zach. Yeah, yeah. I was actually pretty close. You were. I don't know why I went Beavis and Butthead fully, but that's okay. I'm trying to like draw and it's really hard. <laughs> oh, those got, those got close. So um, one of the things, I'm gonna switch up the, the brushes, or the, not brushes, these are pens. Um, so you can see here with, I want to switch over to, is it easier to see it here? I'll just leave it here. Um, so you can see with these, you, it's a, the, the edges are a bit crisper because of the, the uncoated or the coated paper. Whereas some of these, they start, start bleeding a little bit. Um. Although, get some really nice saw, saw teeth that way. There you go, Zach. Oh, um, so nice and close, yeah. And actually, believe it or not, I am I'm trying to figure out how to... I've started making vector brushes for Illustrator. Based use, on these? Based on these. Um, oh, damn, dude. It is... A pain in the butt <laughs> it doesn't quite yeah, these are like so spontaneous right um i think the last time i checked there were like 50 nibs or something like that that were in um uh, or 50 like strokes that were in the pack um which i feels a gets a little overwhelming but um mm -hmm. So I'm going to try a couple of these ones that I've pre-made and... Just got all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is where your paper towels come in handy. That's fine. Oh, let me show you this well. While that dries. If you want to take your if it's not terribly uh like the finer grit that you've got, the smoother the edge and the more burrs it's gonna take off. If you've used the if two thirty or something like that is all you've got, it may work uh, pretty well. But basically you just pull it across the edge so you, you're getting the burrs off. That's all you're really wanting to do. Um, I like the the 400 grit. It's a little smoother. And uh, one of the things that I will do as well is put the tip or run it through there just to get some of the, the burrs off the inside as well. Yes, um, the spontaneity because of the way the going back to the illustrator brushes, uh, Will and Zach, like the the pressure setting is nice. I hadn't thought about the velocity, but like with some of these mark makings, um, I've got a couple of different set of, like brushes where you'll have the thick expressive one like this and a couple of more just straight lines with a little bit less expression in them. And you can mix and match, copy, paste the stroke. The nice thing about having them in vector is if you don't get the curve right, you can clean it up pretty easily. So 
but uh, yeah, it's a project that I've been working on for quite some time and just life happens and it falls by the wayside. So I need to get back on that. Um, if you're interested in using them, let me know. Either drop me a DM, tell me in chat, say hey in Slack. Just pester me about them until I get them done. Um, so let's see, which one are we going to use? These are pretty similar. Seeing how good you are, I'm like, oh man, Doc has to practice this so much. Definitely. Uh, it's, and some of it is getting used to how the pen writes. Like, I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, that's like, a big part of it. How it catches on the paper it has a big uh, impact on the actual lines that are made. Yeah, and I remember so much of like when I would draw with those like um you know like quill tips like yes. how much like angle and pressure and everything matters. It all plays. You know, like, kind of it all plays. I I did try to figure out how to to get them to to work in Procreate. I haven't quite figured out. That would be <laughs> black magic to get it to to work like it does <laughs> uh organically or uh analog but it is something that i am trying to figure out how to do so um lauren people are wanting to see the duck again oh sure show your duck i'm gonna I'm switch just keep going <laughs> here's my nice duck oh sweet yeah and then wrote Definitely my name like, and some uh, other junk a loon like a merganser uh vibe yeah yeah hooded mergan those things are beautiful um all right you anybody want to see a, a tongue depressor versus the i'm doing i'm doing a new one that i'll show as soon as i finish writing my word i'm gonna do the I'm getting tongue. better after a few tries And also, the other thing that will do... It's definitely easier to write than trying to draw. Yes. To draw. Um, the more mm -hmm. ink that you load in, the the more chances you're going to have um, to like have those splatters and large uh, deposits of ink on your, your sheet. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to do something a little bit more delicate. Maybe shake it out in the in the well through your ink well and make sure that you're not gonna dump a, a bunch of ink on the paper so mm -hmm. you know what while we're uh while trying we're to draw a dinosaur but that's much harder that is awesome. <laughs> and it's much but the letters turned out cool that <laughs> is really rad um so hard to draw like a lot like really really but it's it's fun challenge andrew um where is the chippendale draw session happening after this oh I'm, yeah good question i meant to to make a note uh andrew sale and i'm gonna um, try and draw one of them <laughs> mariana are going to be doing a draw along in celebration of the chippendale rescue rangers movie that i believe is released tomorrow is that correct I yeah I I was confused because like Disney Plus says Rescue Rangers is coming tomorrow, but I didn't know if that was like the cartoon is coming or the whole new movie. Which is, I believe I it's the movie. So I don't know. <laughs> you know Chippendale, the Chipmunks. Yeah. Not the other Chippendale. I like that they made a joke about that. that In good. the movie. <laughs> In the trailer, they did. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, not that one. <laughs> not that... Wait a minute. Are, are Chip and Dale animated in two different ways in this movie? Yeah. What? I've completely missed that. You really, you gotta catch up, man. Holy smokes. So, you guys tell me, is this movie also coming out on Disney Plus tomorrow? Or is it um, in theaters and then they're adding the cartoon on Disney Plus tomorrow? I've been watching Clone Wars like nonstop to <laughs> see all the ads. <laughs> it's only on Disney Plus, but it's it's streaming. You don't have it's not one of those uh, Raya. Oh, you can't go see it in theaters. 
where we you have to pay thirty bucks to watch it. To. Hey, what's up, jetpacks? Hey, Blake. Let's see. It's Blake. So, in honor <laughs> of that draw along, you know what? I'm gonna grab a new clean sheet. Sheet, new sheet of paper. I'm trying to draw a character for it. It is it's so hard. About knocked over the ink. So here you go. There's some back a couple years ago when the the Chiefs were in the Super Bowl. They lost. Thanks for joining everybody. <laughs> Those are awesome. Um Let's see. I am going to cheat and do an underdrawing of Chip. So, uh, tell me this, uh, Andrew. Which one is Chip and which one is Dale? Dale's got the red nose, correct? Oh, I know the answer. Yeah, and Chip is the little, like, Indiana Jones guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never understood that. I was like, why is one Hawaiian and the other one Indiana Jones? Like... <laughs> That's a great question. So tell, do you know why they um, are like one looks like they're a cartoon and one looks like it's computer animated for this movie? Like, why did they make that decision to do so that? So part of the like story, it's kind of like Roger Rabbit, where like all the cartoons live together in like one universe, you know? Uh huh. And so like uh, it said, like uh, Dale had like. Um, CGI surgery or whatever. So. <laughs> Is that so for like, real? Yeah, I'm not that creative. Oh my like. <laughs> gosh, that's amazing. You're making this up on the spot. <laughs> CGI surgery. Yeah, but it's, it looks cute. I'm I'm more inclined to watch it now, knowing that it I don't have to go to the movie theater. Um, cause I probably I don't think I would have paid to see it probably. <laughs> There's a lot of movies out right now, anyway. <laughs> I can try and draw a chopper. It's really hard to draw. I tried to draw Monterey Jack, but this is like just really hard to draw with these things. Yes, <laughs> it is tough. But it was, it's fun to try. Man. All right, let's see. This is going to be janky. You got this. Already looks more like a Darkwing than Chipper Dale. Oh no, that looks good. I just went. I just. Oh gosh. Hey, we're going very crazy right from the beginning. All right, let's see. I can show you the the difference of that that parallel pen too, if anybody wants to see that. The uh, the sounds that the soda can makes on paper sometimes is <laughs> very fun, and then other times it's like Stop. close to fingers on a chalkboard. Does anybody get that or no? Not not too much of it yet. Oops, that one got away from me. Oops. Splashy. 
Very splashy. <laughs> I feel like I, I like just forgot how to draw. It's so hard it, it, to get this to do anything like what I have in my head. It's a co it's 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 a lot. It's a lot to throw at a learning. But I'm I'm having fun with it. I don't mean this is a bad thing. It's just like it, it, it's like so different than you you think it will be. A hundred percent, especially if you try doing it with a tongue de tongue depressor. You're on you're on hard mode. A cigarette. Add a cigarette. Yeah, if it's on fire, you get bonus points. For sure. Way more ink. So Andrew, I don't know if you, you saw it there, but it looks like uh, over on his uh, whereby they will be having the ooh, oh the, great the the draw along with the Chippendale celebration. I was like, sorry, I'm being so quiet. I'm trying to do Are you good? <laughs> I, I realized I had gone into oh, yours looks awesome. quiet mode as well. <laughs> Mine looks like someone else took over my body and breathed. <laughs> it, it definitely, it definitely is 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 tough with these jokers. Well, it's it's also because like my uh, drawing style normally is like so uptight, like by comparison to this, you know, uh, where you cannot control control any of it basically. This will definitely f force you to to loosen up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But I don't do this very often, so it is entertaining. Oh, I'm there you go. There's that. There's some sawtooth, ha uh, sawteeth happening. If you go up, you get some nice, mm-hmm, nice lines. But we are coming up on about the half hour. Andrew is the is the my interpretation of Chopper, which I actually really like. <laughs> Here, hold on. I'm gonna switch over to the screen so everybody can see a little bit better. Hold it back up. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get it closer to the camera. Oops, wrong direction. Nope. Nope. On delay. <laughs> there we go. Can you see? Yeah. Yes. I got nice and splashy. There you go. I think it's sold there, uh, Lauren. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can uh, you can just uh, awesome. Venmo her cat. <laughs> uh, was it? <laughs> Cash Apper. Um, Over there. Yeah. <laughs> Throw some I'll, orange. I'll have to do orange. I don't have orange ink, so I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> I do more. It's fun. <laughs> I think it worked out nice to have everybody build these and then go do the the draw along with uh, Andrew and Mariana. I think that'll be yeah. good. Yeah. Land and world. We got you guys. And Andrew sale with threes instead of e's on Instagram. Go give him a follow. Yeah. They're they're good humans. They are. Is, is anybody going from here to their draw along? 
I might pop over for a little bit. Yeah, I might quit. Um, well, I don't know. We'll see. I'm having fun. Andrew, uh, if you can, uh, drop the link in here and then also do it in Slack. Oops. If you want. Or is that a, a patron's Oh, there or... you go. Perfect. Sweet. Hard to get a circle to turn yeah, out the way you like. hundred percent hard to get a circle. I can see why you would get addicted to these. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> just a crap ton of fun. It really, really is. It's so, like, unpredictable and crazy. So much fun. I was like, just give up on uh, Chip. <laughs> nope. Her I crunching am, I am uh, going to try to ink it in a little bit. But, uh, but yeah. Maybe, uh, I know what I was thinking of doing next time for the, the drawing board was to have like another work through of a process, um, mm -hmm. for a potential poster. Oh yeah. We, we talked about that one. And, uh, so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> the other, uh, I may, if, uh, I may hold off on doing the, uh, the Xerox transfers will till next time, uh, or not the next, next coming next drawing time. board, but yeah. Um, we'll see. Oops. Darn it. I put that down way too boldly. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little excited, too. I'm like, I can do it. Just trying to give it a little bit of... Forget it, uh, the whole wet into wet makes life so much easier. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. Splashes. It, it's... I really like when it splashes. That is the most fun. It's super fun getting back to, like, analog after... Yeah doing digital for so long therapeutic mm -hmm. absolutely feel that one <laughs> i'm like maybe i'll do what i want if i flip the paper around 180 degrees <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> didn't work at all but yeah so that's a yeah this is a great idea doc thank you yeah teach me something totally new Oh, thanks for subscribing, Judge Kitty. Yay! Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> we'll be doing this again before too long. Yes. Okay. Jetpacks, thanks for the re, re up on the subscription. We will take all of Bezos' bucks. The buckaroos. Buckaroos. Bezos bucks. Bezo, Bezo bucks. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, We'll just hang out for another little couple minutes. Uh, is there any other housekeeping you can think of? Um, next next Thursday um, is Dungeons and Designers yes, will be back, back to, with yes, Will yes. at the, here at the M of One Twitch. Um, what We've time does that start? Um, is that start at seven? Coming out. Yes, I believe so. Or do you guys start an hour earlier? Will please let me know. Um, or am I just messing up time zones um, in my head? I I don't know why. Uh, I can't remember this. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, that should be coming. We have hot seats dropping twice a week. Oh yes, Dan Lee and Bob. Oh, it is Ewing's an hour earlier. I was right. Okay. Dropped here um, this so week, right? Drawing... Yes, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the next like month and a half ish. Uh, we ha will have uh, our hot seat interviews dropping on YouTube. So check those out. They are all really fun to watch um, and listen to and get inspired by. They're just like fun, like. I think the maximum length was probably 30 minutes and like just hung out and chatted with people at Creative South about all the cool things that they do. So check those out if you have got some time. We've got three up right now as of the time that we're recording this. And um, I think that's it for this week, but there'll be more, two more next week. I don't know who they are. So if Patrick, if you're listening, tell me the answer. Right on. Um, Judge Kitty, every Thursday we try and do something. We have uh, Dungeons and Designers every other um, Thursday on the second and fourth of the month. And then we usually have this or, or sometimes we do a game night on Thursday or um, all kinds of possibilities. So we've done like movie reviews, um, you know, all the different fun podcast things in our network. But usually Mondays is the day that we record our regular podcast episode, and Thursday is um, magical roulette of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So <laughs> thanks, everyone, for joining along this evening. And uh, if you're wanting to hang around and continue to draw with your regularly scheduled utensils, um, feel free to do that. Head over to whereby... Um, slash andrew sale is that right whereby.com slash oh no we lost it sale yeah with threes instead of so e's. e's i'll pop it in here again <laughs> magic roulette <that's> fun. <laughs> oh this is awesome i tried Oops. to draw darth vader but got some really crazy marks where i didn't mean them to be but i like the idea of it <laughs> not sure why that spotify is just popped in but okay there's literally ink all over my arm I love it. <laughs> yeah it's a good it, it's a good weekend oh, yeah, yeah. project uh because if not you you if you show up in the office it'd be like what sort of shenanigans have you been into the last oh evening? my gosh i'm i can't remember what project it was but like whenever i dye clothes i never remember to wear gloves and so like my hands just become black and gross and it looks like it looks like WandaVision before I had that reference of like the hands turning black. And yes. then I was like, we're just going to work and people be like, the oh. heck, like what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I have no idea why me trying to pay something into chat is going to bring up something that shouldn't even be there. Oh, Weird. Oh, well. Well, I made a lovely mess. <laughs> yes. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. Thanks for all the new... Uh, <laughs> Spotify just need, needs to be included 100%. Um, hopefully, I'll uh, mm -hmm. we'll have some of that uh, background music for, for next time piped in for everyone to hear a little bit better. But, um, yeah, thanks for joining for in. for a while. I think, yeah, it might still be there. But I can hear it better this than everybody This was great, else. Doc. Thank you very much. I will be keeping my cleaning out my pen and using it later yeah um but yeah if you've really cool made right some now. stuff <laughs> take some pictures throw up on, throw them up on social media and let me uh let me take a look at them i'd love to see how everybody's pens turned out i'd love to see what what uh beverages everyone was was using i know uh will you you brought your <laughs> Lacroix. is it pomplamoose flavor is that what you said um what is that grapefruit and french or something is that what that is I think that's correct. It feels it feels good. We'll run with it. I mean, Lacroix is that French? I don't know. <laughs> that I have, <laughs> I have no clue about that. Um, uh, right on. Well, uh, that's it for this evening. Hopefully, everyone's fingers are still intact and no uh, worse for the wear. And you've got a fun little art shiv to add to your arsenal of marker making and uh i can't wait to see what everyone makes so definitely take pictures post them on social tag us uh i am Redicus, 
Lauren's not cool co and definitely uh, tag um, M of one as well. Would love to see yeah. what everyone makes. And uh, we can get a few um, of y'all's pictures. I can post them together. That would be fun. Yes, that would be incredible. Drop them in Slack as well. We've got a, a gallery yeah. channel. Um, so drop them in there. Let us see what everybody's working on. And uh, until then, we'll see you all next month. Actually, we're doing an every other month cycle now. Draw or the art department will be in the every other third uh, Thursday of the month. So drawing board on the third Thursday, art department on the next third Thursday, in between the uh, Dungeons and Designers. And of course, we've got the round table streaming every Monday here uh, with Andrew, mm -hmm. Patrick, and Lauren. So see everybody back here on Monday. Yes. Thank you guys so much. This was fun. Can't wait to see what y'all made. All right. Till then. See you next time. <laughs>